Botox. It's the most popular cosmetic treatment in the world. Here with us today is uh, Dr. Michelle Pancel, allowing twice old mom to ask her a question about Botox. Yay! Uh, ladies, do not be fooled by this beautiful, well put together woman. Not only is she a board certified medical practitioner that has over 16 years of experience, she is also a mama of four. Hi, sir. I'm a medical professional. Uh, I qualified as a medical doctor in 2007. I've been practicing medicine full time. Uh, I want to specialize in emergency medicine, which is trauma. I want to give you the best Botox and fillers, especially Botox, that you can have. Yeah. This was a life dream come true from the wallpaper down to the desk that was actually built for my side. <laughs> my bed, my little choice, everything was done and custom designed for me as well as um, our natural pictures. Yes, they um, are quite something. Yeah, they are quite something. It's very really nice to teach on. That's my passion. Yes. Um, if you are ever in a fortunate position to come across me when I'm in a teaching mode, be prepared to sit for a long time. I want women to understand what we're doing. Yes. I want you to understand why right. you are doing a specific treatment right. and why are we deciding not to do it. I want you to have insight and understanding and I want you to have the autonomy mm. to make a choice whether you want to go with this or not. This is a very personal journey. Why do people see this as vanity? I don't understand. Because if you've got someone with ears standing like bats and we pin them back, that's fine. People will do that pro bono. Hmm. But if I've got a woman who's got deep lines that's really discouraging her, affecting her self-confidence with a very weak lip, and we manage that and give her self-confidence, that's vanity. In the society of today? Yes. yes. But I want to break down yes. those walls. You want to give women back self-love? Yes. One of the best examples is we had a woman who came in and she just had ugh, about 20 minutes of photo stand, the bare minimum. She came back six months later and she was engaged. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> All you single mamas out there! That was, that was life changing and that put her on a whole journey of self love. She lost close to 50 kilograms. She just went on this whole journey where self confidence just grew from one wow. little treatment. But I understand how women feel. I understand how annoying it is if people ask you, Why are you sad? And you're just like, No, I'm not. Why are you angry? Do I talk about that? So then we can change the way you feel on the inside or the outside to match the inside. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. And suddenly women just have this freedom where they say, but now I look like me. Yes. And that's all I want. Mm -hmm. Where you feel comfortable with. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And what an introduction to Dr. Michelle wow. Manzel. Thank you. <laughs> And thank you for sharing that with us. Please. So let's just dive right in there and start with what is Botox? So Botox is a neurotoxin. Okay, that sounds extremely daunting, I know. Most people go, oh crap, it's poison, and they stay away from it. It's not true. It is derived from a toxin, a botulinum toxin, which is found in nature. So it's been around forever, ever, and it's been studied since the 1940s. So it's not a poison. Um, Botox is actually developed to treat strabismus, which is where my eyes are skewed. Yes. We can inject into the little muscle of our we also good, yeah? Yes. And you can actually correct the squint. Yes, so medical purposes. That was actually yes. how it was discovered. Use and abuse is a complete different scenario. Oh, that's a good Once we start with the abuse, yes. then we get those frozen faces <laughs> which people associate with the skin. And I always say to my patients, we start slow and low, and we can take build it from, from there. there. We build from there. We're not going to go and make it completely mobile, especially if it's your first time. We take this according to your time. Okay. So um, now we've received some Botox. How long does it stay in the system? Right. So that is very, very dependent on many factors. General rule, proven by studies, is it takes 14 days to have full effect. From the day that I she comes. It needs to, it takes 14, 14 days yeah, not for the full effect to be visible. Yes, not 13, not 12, not 9, 14. 
That's why we follow you up for two weeks. Okay. Then, it should last between three to four months. But, in some patients, it lasts longer because they're just lucky. They are contributing factors to breaking it down quicker. What we see now is the training with the neurostimulators, yes. where they actually have that suit on. Yes. Because it increases nerve stimulation, yes. right? Those patients, Botox, fly out of their systems. Wow. Attributing factors for how long. Yes. But on average, three in general, months. three to four months. Yes. And I've seen patients lucky enough to come only twice a year. Wow, okay. Mm. So then you come back because then suddenly all the lines appear again and you seem older. No. Okay. No. Tell us more. You will actually look the way you came when you started here. Okay. So people think if you start with Botox, one day you're going to wake up and, I don't know, be 100 years older. That's impossible. What you did is you blocked the movement of the muscle. They, like you do with the local anesthetic. Yes. So you can't feel pain. So it's the same thing when you do Botox. It stops the message from getting to the muscle. So the muscle doesn't okay. contract. Even though you feel, because when I'm speaking to you, I feel like I'm frowning and you're going to feel yes. And that gives the skin a little break. Okay. And that's what smooths the skin. But your body's not. So it regenerates new nerve endings yes. to get the muscle moving again. So in doing working out, it's yes. awesome. But you will not age worse or look worse. You will go back to exactly where you were when you first started. Right. The appearance might just be because you haven't seen yourself there we go. like this. In there we go. So time. people okay. get used to the fact that they're smooth and suddenly they're like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> we take pictures and we can show you you are even if you stop treatment after two or three sessions. Um, most of the benefit quality, beneficial qualities would have been there. Still there. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, thank you. That's mm -hmm. a lot of interesting information there. Okay, so tell us, other than a frown line that perhaps you want to soften mm -hmm. um, or our pro speed, what else? Botox is actually amazing and that is one of the things I love treating the most is our medical properties. Um, especially patients, in my case particular, who's grinding their teeth. Yes. I've had other braces to try and correct it. I uh, broke three body plates already because I'm grinding so much. So if you do Botox in this muscle over here and you can press on it to feel if it's painful, that one, then it actually stops that muscle from contracting so much. And I have patients who've been on pain medication for 10 years that say to me, oh my goodness, my headache's gone. Wow. I can open my jaw, I'm wow. in constant pain. Um, the same as patients who have extreme neck spasms, which we all do because we've got bad postures, most of us, and we do not really exercise enough. <laughs> That's just facts. <laughs> so then we find the trigger points in the neck and on the shoulder, and you treat it with Botox, and that relaxes the trigger points of the muscles. So they get this, you'll, have, you'll see them come in after like three or four days going, Oh my goodness, I can do my head. I've not been able wow. to do this. So overall body? You yes! Not just face. No! I've, I've got people with um, very large calf muscles, which hurts, and it's a genetic trait, which will shrink the calf muscles down. Oh, yes. okay. So that they stop walking on their toes. Uh -huh. people with, with both hearts? Yes, people who have cerebral palsy. We stop the spasms. Like I said, people who are squint, we inject a little bit in the eye. People who are jumping brows. Or yes. eyelids, yes. stops it. Excessive sweating, you can do it under arms, hands, feet. It's a miracle, miracle treatment. And incidentally, it erases frowns. <laughs> For the time, I just generally ask patients, Botox is not such a big issue. Um, when we get to fillers and more invasive procedures, then I'll ask them to please stop using antique agulants and omegas and vitamin C. But with Botox, it's fine, just be normal. Do not drink a bottle of tequila before you come the night before because you will bruise. Do not drink a bottle of tequila, ladies, the night before. A glass of wine. One, one, one glass of wine. Maybe two. Which is fine. And so then afterwards? Afterwards, we are very strict. Alright, the biggest, biggest rule, everyone knows it, is you may not touch your face for six hours. Ooh. Yes. And if you actually 
if you actually know how often you do this, yes. on the, or especially on the phones, yes. uh, you'll get fright. So just be conscious of your hands. And then do not lie flat on your face for six hours. I have no idea why you will. <laughs> or flat on your back. Yeah. I never have the nuts. I don't have the opportunity <laughs> to do that. And then the one everyone remembers is do not exercise 24 hours. Everyone remembers that one. <laughs> That's the only one I remember. But the biggest rule is do not touch your face. For six yeah. hours, not forever. Six hours. And yes, you may sleep after you've had Botox. You do not have to sit up all night. And you can wash your face. And you can have a glass of wine. Okay. <laughs> um, Dr. Michelle, we're just asking a tiny word of encouragement mm -hmm. for a new mommy that's out there that's processing maybe a tiny bit of self-love mm -hmm. just to get her. What would your advice be if she's on this verge? Should I? Shouldn't I? It's very easy. Look at yourself as some, if there is something that you do not like. Um, we normally, I say to patients, we treat negative emotions first. If people perceive you as angry, sad, tired, and you do not feel like that, then we need to maybe assess the situation. Okay. And then I will just treat those attributes. Okay. We're not going to change the way you look. Okay. And if you feel maybe I just need a little bit more, the like I said, the self confidence it gives you to just open your eyes up, not look like you haven't slept in three years, even though it's true, <laughs> is phenomenal. Yes. Yes, I would say just come for a consult, hear it out. Yes. You do not have to do anything. Hear it out and decide for yourself. Get all the information. Yeah, then just think about it. There you girls have it. Think about it. So now, Dr. Michelle, the most dreaded question we're all wondering how much is this going to cost us? Right. So that is normally where I get into trouble because I do not believe in exploiting patients. So I am extremely affordable. So I charge 65 grand per unit. That is my personal price. Where I'm comfortable and I feel I can give the best treatment within that price range. So I can treat you adequately. Okay. Whereas if someone asks higher price, the patient won't be able to afford the optimal dosages and they're going to be very disappointed okay. in the effect. Um, so there's nothing wrong with people asking more. I just feel it gives me the opportunity to treat a more wider variety of patients and adequately. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my beautiful assistant, Baba. Um, Hello. She is my everything in this practice. We do everything together. You will always book your consultations through her. She is the voice behind everything. And she runs this trip quite tightly. Yes, come, let's I'm on the beds, we've got Dr. Francel, we've got Baba here on the back, and she is going to take us through what you would go through if you come for a consult. Yeah. First things first, we consult with the mirror. Right. So, Sam, please look in the mirror. Tell me, what do you find troublesome? Oh dear! Right, so tell me, what annoys you the most? Yes, um, I. Perhaps this line here, the forehead, and the crows. We don't want to let everyone know that we're single mamas and over 40. No, we don't. Right, so. And that is it from us, Twice Style Mama. Thank you so much for joining us here online. Ladies, we hope you learned something. We hope you were encouraged. There is options. Take the noggers that work for you. Leave the ones that haven't. And if you need any more questions, comments, please leave it below. All the links for Dr. Van Sale is just right here. Tap in. Thank you so much, Dr. Michelle, for an amazing day time. We're looking forward to you chatting.